So the NCAA tournament seems a lot more physical than the regular season, mm-hmm. and soccer, we kind of have a reputation for <laughs> play. Does it feel good to like be prepared for that, maybe more so than your opponents, and you feel like you take advantage of that sometimes? Yeah, I mean, um, I feel like I've held my physicality pretty consistent throughout the season, but... I would say that it feels good to play teams from other conferences that haven't met teams in the SEC and show them how we do it around here. <laughs> um, so a great fan turnout tonight. Uh, first time advancing to Sweet 16. What does it mean to be able to host that match at home? I mean, it means everything. It's, you know, obviously a lot better than having to travel, having to, you know, um, stay in a hotel, you know, eat places you haven't eaten before. Um, I mean, just the fan atmosphere. I mean, our fan base is obviously, we know, one of the best in the country. But, again, like the fiscality, it's it's nice to let everyone else in the country know what the Alabama fan base brings. And, I mean, we brought the energy tonight. You could hear them from <laughs> probably the fraternity houses down university, honestly. <laughs> They're pretty loud. <laughs> so, what what goes into staying mentally locked in with some calls going your way, some calls not going your way? What is it? What goes into being mentally, you know, strong enough to just block all that out? I mean, you know, we're not the ones calling the field. Uh, obviously, you know, there's a lot involved that we don't see that we do see. Um, and at the end of the day, you know, a call is a call. But I would say, I mean, we handle it so many times in practice, playing, doing set pieces, doing other things that, you know, we've we've already handled so much adversity this far in the season that. When one call doesn't go your way, we're we're prepared to handle that and just move on and you know build build the next play. <laughs> when you have a game like today where it kind of maybe takes a little longer to get moving, uh, how important is it to have a team like this one with the experience and the chemistry that gives you just more of a chance of maybe getting on the board first or making that big play? Just the dynamic that your team has that maybe the other team doesn't. Oh yeah, I mean obviously you know we returned. Um, everybody from last year and just added a ton of new faces that are also amazing so um, just to be able to build on that I mean these girls are all my sisters we're all obviously family is one of our, our core values um, here and I feel like we really showed on the field you know even uh, facing a tough op- opponent uh, you know especially like Portland's you're gonna face a lot of struggles you know and there's gonna be certain points in the game when you know you're you're a little bit behind them um, but I'm so confident in them and I feel like they trust we all trust in each other, and it just allows you to play with, with so much more confidence when you know that the girl beside you is working just as hard as you, has done all these all the right things, you know, leading up to the game. Just to, I know everyone else on the field can handle it, so I gotta handle it for them too. I mean, obviously, um, you know, we've, we've been building this program. Um, I mean, at least, obviously, me, you know, my class personally, only from fresh, you know, four years ago. Um, but I just feel like it's such a culmination of all of the, the, the work that, especially Wes has been putting in over his entire coaching career. Um, and it just feels good to say that, you know, we, we've been making history as our team, but because of that, future teams have something to look forward to they're like well we've done it before we can do it again you know and it's just like our freshmen obviously when we all graduate they're going to have those stories of this year of the first year that Alabama soccer did what we can do you know and I think that uh the rest of the programs will be chasing that feeling you know it's it's a feeling like no other obviously to to be making history got to scout Irvine some. They're now your next opponent. What did you see out of them? What are you going to be ready for on Sunday? Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, I think they're a great team. You know, it's uh, obviously fun to be playing a California team, being from California. <laughs> Didn't think I'd ever be playing them in Alabama, but, you know, <laughs> here we are, all of us California girls. <laughs> Any of your own um, on the team? No, none. There are a lot of them from Southern California. I had some in Brown, but not UC Irvine. Um, but, you know, uh, just watching their previous game, you know, they're a good team. Um, they've you know, got a strength in a lot of areas. Um, I would say this far in the tournament, there's uh, no room on any team for mediocrity. Like, everyone's going to be a good opponent. Um, so at the end of the day, uh, as much as we can we can scout them, we just have to play our game. Um, it kind of seemed like Portland got a little tired towards the end of the game, got a little bit in. As far as the 
far as I can tell, I didn't see any of that from you guys. How much of that do you attribute to Coach Hart and his preparation and conditioning, or how much is that just you guys wanting him for? I mean, you know, at the beginning of the game, everyone running on adrenaline. You know, everyone's running on adrenaline. Um, just every player, like, we're all excited to be there. We're all excited for the game to start. You know, obviously by the end, the adrenaline wears off, and, you know, you're you're just falling back on old patterns, and our pattern throughout the entire season has been – uh, building upon, you know, our strength and conditioning with our strength coach, um, just with Wes, every single practice demanding the best from us and not allowing us to not give our best, you know, um, we all push each other. And so, uh, especially our coaching staff from the get go, I mean, we have all of our summer finished and now here we are, what, four months later, <laughs> still riding that wave. So it's just how we do it. <laughs> all right. Thanks, Sasha. Thank you. Okay.